Hey guys! Holy crap, there are so many people here already! Thanks for joining! Shit, I should have worn my glasses. People here already! Already! Thanks oh for my joining. god. Thanks for joining. Let me turn the shit, sound off. I should have worn my glasses. Here. Already! Already! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's everyone watching from? I can't believe there's already like 200 people here. That's insane. I am having a good day, Scott. Thank you. It's 11 p.m. here. I'm almost getting ready for bed. Matthew says, shout out to the guys doing Chris's video course today. Oh, are you at his class? Chris is teaching a class at a university this weekend. <laughs> That's so cool. You guys went. How is it? How was it? Texas, the Netherlands, Ireland, Kobe. Cool. I, I um, just came back from Kobe. I filmed a video there. I am drinking Yorkshire tea. Is that what it's called? It's just a standard black tea. In my, my Shaler cup, let me turn it around so you can see. I wanted to involve Taylor in my Vlogmas somehow. Can you see that awesome artwork? Finland, cool. Poland, Romania. Germany, Miyagi. Oh, you're close by. I'm doing the class too. It's very good so far. Oh, wow. There's a couple of people of you taking Chris's class. That's, that's neat. Denmark, Saskatchewan. I've been there. I miss Shaler vlogs too. I really wish we could get together, but Taylor's very busy with her new business that she just set up. And I'm very busy traveling around all over the place. And it's just been hard to meet up, but I'm I'm certain that we will one day. Ontario, Canada, I know it's pretty early for you there, Jessica, thanks for joining. Hyogo, cool. Yeah, so, oh yeah, so this just happened. I went and checked my mailbox and there was a surprise Christmas present for me in there that I was not expecting. Can you guys guess who this is from? Let's see if anyone can figure it out. I was just blown away, did not expect it whatsoever. England, yeah, Yorkshire tea is the best, isn't it? I think it's my favorite tea. I probably drink it the most out of all teas. It's not from Taylor, no. <laughs> it's not from Chris, that would just be weird. Um, not from my friends from home, no. Not from my sister, not from Greg. Oh, no one's got it yet. Not from Sunny. <laughs> Do you know Tano? Okay, that would be even weirder. No. Nope. Hey, Sammy. Thanks for saying hi. Not from Norm. Nope. Not from Nicole. That's probably the closest guess. That will be your hint. It's not Nicole, but it's kind of something related to Nicole. No, not Megan. Not from my ex, no. No, not from that ski. No, no one's got it yet. It is something to do with a video I posted recently, one of the Vlogmas videos. No, not Michaela. I miss Michaela. The leader of Japan. <laughs> the cat. It is not from the cat, but, but. It's from, come on, you guys are getting there. You're getting very close. <laughs> no, it's not from Mark. The Airbnb cat owner just, just got it. Yeah, this is from the Airbnb owner. She sent me a present. I have no idea what it is, but I thought we could open it up together. It's very light. What do you guys think it is? She was seriously the sweetest lady in the world. If you guys are staying in Tokyo, I really, really recommend staying with her. The place was a little pricey. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. There's enough room for two people, so you could split it with your friend. But I think it was around $170 or so a night. Um, which is a little high, but it was a really good location. And the lady was just so sweet and she prepared everything for us. So it was definitely worth, worth it. I'm glad that we stayed there. Shall we open it? It's definitely something to do with cats. It's gotta be. It might be tea, you know, it is light. It's something very light. 
Oh, from Sapporo. Hey. Konbanwa. Waribiki ken. Waribiki ken janai to omo. Aww. Look at that. She wrapped it. Oh my god, is that a cat ribbon? What? Look at the cat ribbon. Hello from Goonma. Hey. You have the same Christmas tree? Woo, twins. I love my Christmas tree. Isn't it cute? Okay, um, let's open the card first. There's a cute little card. Oh, it says <laughs> she's got her own stamp. Pippin's in. Hey, Steve. Good morning. Thanks for joining so early. What is this? Aw. Aw. Merry Christmas from Pippin's Inn. Oh, it's a 3D cat card. What? It's a little cat Santa. Dear Sharla, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Please open this ASAP. Hope your dreams come true. All right. I'll open it right now. Oh, hi from Hungary. See ya. That's all I remember from my Hungarian classes. <laughs> If you're just joining, we are opening a present that the Airbnb owner sent me. It's a little too early to be opening Christmas presents, but she said to open it ASAP, so I don't feel bad. What could it be? Oh my god, no way! <gasps> What the hell? She is the nicest person in the world. Can you guys tell what those are? Oh my god. She got me more of the the blind boxes that I didn't get the ones that I wanted in the video. I'm gonna cry. That is so sweet. She watched the video and saw that I didn't get the blind boxes that I wanted. <laughs> oh my god. What a sweetie. She got me four of them. These aren't cheap, you guys. These were like $10 each. I'm gonna have to send her a thank you gift. That is the nicest thing ever. And now we have blind boxes to open on the stream. Oh, I hope I get a cat. Please get a cat. If I get another sloth, who should I give it to? I'm just gonna give all my friends sloths. Sloth friendship club. All right, let's open this one. Oh, please be a cat. Please be a cat. Oh yeah, I forgot they're in a bag. <laughs> Everyone's voting for Chris. I feel like he would throw it away if I gave it to him. Greg, yeah. I'll give Greg the sloth if I get another one. Cross your fingers for me. Ooh, ooh. I think it's a cat! I think it's the one I wanted! Oh, it is. It's so cute. Look at that. Focus. Look at it. It's got a little bow tie. Oh, just put myself in the eye. It looks like Morrow. Camera is not showing it. There we go. Is this not the cutest little cat ever that is going on my Christmas tree? I've got the sloth and the hamster thing up there now. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Perfect. Okay, well, I've already gotten the one I wanted. There is uh, two, there are two other great ones in these ones. So fingers crossed for those. <laughs> I usually have the worst luck with these. As you guys know, with like lucky bags and stuff. Oh, by the way, I tried to get the Pokemon Lucky Bag um, the day that they released them online for sale and the website just crashed. I was sitting there like refreshing it for about four hours and it never came back on. <laughs> and then they eventually sent an email out to everyone saying that the website was just down all day. And I guess no one was able to purchase one. So they're gonna do a lottery system this year. So I can sign up for the lottery. Fingers crossed, I get a bag. That would be fun. All right, next one. 
It's another gray one. What? Oh, it's the dark one. I think this is the one I wanted the most, actually. Because it's, it's mostly like Maro. Oh, look at it. Can you guys see it okay? Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. I'm having the best luck. What the heck? Um, I'm going to go to space on my tree. I need a bigger tree. <laughs> yeah, the earmuffs are cute, aren't they? What are we talking about? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, Pokemon Lucky Bag. So, uh... I think they're going to start the lottery on the 10th. I think that's what the website said. Just check the Pokemon website. They'll probably have a notice up there about it. Hey, Sunny. Thanks for stopping by. I miss you. Aw, thank you, Jonas. Very merry early Christmas to you, too. Which one do you think this is, you guys? I haven't gotten a sloth yet. I need a friendship sloth. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, it's Pusheen! Oh, I'm glad I got a Pusheen. Aw. Kind of looks like Luna. Is Pusheen always striped? Am I losing my mind? I swear that Pusheen didn't have stripes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sunny. <laughs> doing my best. I'm taking a lazy day today and doing a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh my god, my Christmas tree is like infinitely cuter now. Seriously. I am so excited for Animal Crossing. I can't wait for it to come out. I'm also excited for that cyberpunk game. I pre-ordered it like a year ago, and I think they're going to ship it to you in April or something. Last one. Aw, thank you, Christian. <laughs> From a Squimalt. No way. I went to a Squimalt school. The more you know. Prepping for a trip to Okinawa. Oh, my God. I've actually never been. I'm sorry. I can't help you at all. The only people I know that have been to Okinawa, uh, Chris went there, Kim went there, and I think Rachel and June went there. Maybe ask them for some advice, but yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know anything about it. That's like the one place in Japan that I haven't been. Oh my god, it's another machine, but it's a different one. We had the best luck. This is the best luck I've ever had with Lucky Boxes. What the fuck? Look at it. It's very little sweater. Why is it so bright? My room is like pretty dark. I don't know why it's showing up so bright. Oh, there we go. Can you guys see that? That's pretty cute. The Airbnb cat lady has a six cents on everything cat. She was able to pick those up because of it. Yeah, seriously. She, she's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Aw. Well, that was the best present ever. I'm gonna have to contact her and thank her very much for that. That was so sweet. I can't believe they were all different and they were like all the ones I wanted. Dun, dun, dun. Rachel and June did go to Okinawa. I definitely remember seeing that video. Yeah, so maybe go leave them a comment. Sorry that I can't help you. Is there any website that sells this stuff but in English so I know what I am buying? Like Japanese snacks, you mean? Um... There are lots of places that do like those snack boxes. So you could try lots of things like every month, they'll send you surprise snacks. Those are pretty fun. Um, Tokyo Treat, I think is a good one. I made a couple of videos about them. And the most recent snack box that I did, which is like two years ago now, but I remember that being the best one. I think it was Tokyo Treat. Oh my God, is that Merry Christmas in Hungarian? Bulgot? Kara so I don't know how to say it. <laughs> God, I forget how to pronounce it. That's horrible. <laughs> Charlotte, do you listen to Chris Abroad podcast? Sometimes, not regularly. I used to listen to it at the gym, actually, and then I stopped going to the gym.
is the Pokemon Lucky Bag, only available for people living in Japan. I believe it's just within Japan, at least on the website, which I'm trying to order from. It, it says on there, shipping only within Japan, unfortunately. Oh, thank you, Scott. That's so kind of you. Merry Christmas to you, too. Aw. But uh, there is a uh, Pokemon website in America. I don't know if they do the Lucky Bags. They do sell lots of the merch. So maybe try that. <laughs> oh, why is it hiding this comment? It's not spam. Come back. I'm living in Tokyo right now for the year, and I really want to buy Fukubukuro. Any suggestions what to buy or where to go? Oh, okay. Uh, whereabouts are you living? I really liked to go to Sunshine City in Ikebukuro is a really good place for uh, Lucky Bags, because especially if you want the Pokemon Center one, because there's a Pokemon Center there, and then there's also a whole bunch of clothing stores, so that was usually my go-to place in Tokyo for Lucky Bags. If you are feeling brave, you could go to Ichimaru Q, which is just insane, but <laughs> there's tons of brands in there, but it's so busy. It's like the most popular place to go for girls. Aw, thank you. Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you, Purple Roses. Hey, Charlotte, hypothetically, would you prefer a paper craft Bulbasaur or a paper craft Paris? Oh dear, I can't choose. I like them both. Mm. Paris. Yes. Mm -hmm. Spending Christmas in Sapporo. Any suggestions? How long are you there for? There's always the Sapporo uh, Snow Festival. That's in Sapporo, isn't it? I went to that once and it was really nice. I think that starts at the beginning of January. It's really the only thing I've done in Sapporo. I was only there for a couple days, fortunately. Aw, thank you, Christian. Merry Christmas to you too. What are your fave new Pokemon from Sword and Shield? I haven't played at all. I have been so busy, especially with Vlogmas. Emma asks, what's your favorite tea? My favorite daily tea to drink is the one I'm drinking now, the Yorkshire tea, and uh, there's one, oh god, oh, crap, I forget the name. It's an English brand, Wilt, Wiltshire, Wilt, Wilt something, uh, damn. And anyways, it's a black tea with rose in it. It's so delicious. It's so good. It was sent to me by a viewer, and I fell in love with it, and now I'm all out of it and I need to find it online. Oh dear. I'm going to Japan in September, how to navigate the train. Okay, uh, I highly recommend that you first get a PASMO card. It's uh, a little electronic card that you can fill up with money and just tap it when you wanna go in and out of the gates. It will save you the trouble of having to look up the price for the distance you're going. And then for apps, um, I think, where's my phone? I think the app is called Japan Trains. It's a really good app uh, to use. Let me just look it up and make sure. I think that's the one everyone uses. Japan Trains, and you can search the stations that you're trying to go to, and it's pretty simple. No, that's not what it's called. This one's pretty good, Hyperdia. I've used that one before. Hyperdia by voice, it says. I remember using that, so maybe try that up. Those are my tips. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh, so many comments. Hey girl, any great place you love from your time here to check out in Seoul? Hi from Paris. Are you going to Seoul? Are you in Seoul right now? Um, my favorite is Plant Cafe. Definitely go there. Uh, then go to, oh, what's the name of that place? Christ, I forget it. I've already forgotten all my my favorite places in Seoul. Um, Myeongdong is really nice for makeup. All the makeup stores are there. What is the the place that's good at nighttime that I would go all the time to watch the dancers? Not Itaewon. Oh, shit. I have the worst memory ever. Um, I will think of it and I will message you. <laughs> give, give me a couple hours to remember. Merry Christmas, Ben. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, Danny. Happy Vlogmas. Thank you so much. Aw, what am I doing for Christmas? I'm actually going back to Canada. 
I can finally see my family. I feel like it's been forever. So I'm going to hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, pre-film some Vlogmas videos because I don't want to film while I'm in Canada. I just want to chill with my family and spend some quality time with them. So yeah, I'll be in Canada for Christmas Day, but hopefully I will have enough videos filmed that I can still post up until Christmas. Uh, forgive me if I don't. I'll try my best. Ami, that is the tea. Thank you so much. Wiltshire, Wiltshire tea. If any of you guys are, or is it, or is it Wittard? Oh, somebody else said Wittard. Yeah, Jessica. Oh shit, now I think it's Wittard. I know it starts with like W and there's an I in there somewhere. It's a rose black tea. If uh, either of those companies have a rose black tea, that's the one. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Catherine. Thank you so much. Have I ever thought of making a podcast? Nah, I wouldn't be good at it. I'm not very good at explaining things. I feel like I need to show them. <laughs> you know what? I think it is Wittered. Yeah, it's Wittered now that I look at it. Yeah, everyone's leaving Japan for Christmas because it's lame. It's pretty lame here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's not much going on here for Christmas, especially if you live up here. Hongdae. That's the place I was thinking. Hongdae, thank you. Especially if you live up here in the countryside, there aren't even any light displays to enjoy. There's no like Christmassy pubs to go to. There's nothing going on. <laughs> it's not fun. It's not fun for Christmas. New Year's is kind of exciting here in Japan because we have lucky bags and people go to the shrines to pray for a nice new year. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, for Christmas, nobody really does anything. I haven't seen Taylor recently. It's been ages. I miss her so much. <laughs> KFC, yeah. And then they celebrate by eating KFC for dinner. It's the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> Just watched your camping video and that Alex was a snack. He is cute, isn't he? He's super young though. I think he's like 10 years younger than me. I forget. He was so nice. He's half Canadian. That's why his English is so good. <laughs> Everyone was wondering why he could speak English. Hi, Shala. Is there anything special to see by in Tokyo in February? Ooh, February. Mm. Can't think of anything. You know, the, the cherry blossom stuff might be starting to come out in the spring. All the cherry blossom themed snacks and drinks and souvenirs start to come out and they do do it a little early. February might be a little too early though. Other than that, I can't think of anything that would be happening around that time. It's still gonna be pretty chilly here. It'll be winter weather. <laughs> Thank you. My tree looks nice. Thank you, Teresa. I'm very happy with it. It looks kind of lame in the stream. It looks very dull. The lights are on. Oh no, they're not on. Yeah, they are. They are on. You can't really tell. <clears throat> Alex has no accent. I wanted if he had grown up in the US or Canada. Yeah, he, he's only been in Japan for about two years, and I think he's only been studying Japanese for about two years. Did you guys hear him speak Japanese in the vlog? I can't remember. Anyways, his Japanese is like spot on. It's so impressive. I can't believe he's only been speaking it for a couple years. <laughs> I don't even have a tree, so you win. I'm, I'm pretty proud that I put together a decent tree from the dollar store. No, I mean, I'm uh, in my home in Morioka now. This is my house. Is there anywhere new you want to go in 2020? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I want to go to Okinawa. because That's like the one place I haven't gone yet. I think there are like two or three places in Japan I haven't gone yet, like major cities, and Okinawa is one of them. So I really hope I can go there in 2020, and I think I might get a chance because my friend is having a wedding there, and it looks like I might be going. So fingers crossed. That would be cool. Will you do more unboxing packages from fans? Yeah, actually, I've got a huge box right there, two of them actually, and I'm planning to do that within the next week or so for Vlogmas, so look forward to that. Lots of things to open, and uh, I think lots of them are for Natsuki, so I've been trying to get him over here to open them with me, but he's been really busy, and he can't take the time off work, so I'm gonna have to do it myself, and then 
hopefully I'll be able to meet up with him and we can eat them together. Hi, Lauren. Aw, thank you for sticking around for so long. That's so sweet. Oh my God, did I miss a comment? James, Merry Christmas. Thinking of visiting Japan in March with my boyfriend. Any good places or festivals that time of year? I love the city. Boyfriend loves the country. March will be nice. Um, what time in March? If it's the end of March, you might be able to see the cherry blossoms and all the cherry blossom festivals. It differs every year. Uh, I think if you look online now, you might actually be able to find a cherry blossom blooming calendar and they kind of like assume when they think the cherry blossoms will be blooming. If you could time it for that, that would be really cool. Otherwise, I don't think there's too much going on in March. Most of the summer festivals happen in like July, August time of year. Um, but weather wise, it'll be really nice. That's a good time to come. Um, if you like the city and the country, if you guys happen to stay in Tokyo because your boyfriend really likes the city, then you could go to Mount Takao. That's a really beautiful like hiking mountain area that you could see together. So you can kind of get that nature vibe, but still be in the city. It's pretty close to Tokyo. Um, Christian says, dark and raining in Lithuania. Thanks for making the day brighter. Oh, I'm sorry you're having crappy weather. It's actually raining today too. It's been snowing in Morioka for the past few days, but today was pouring rain. It's crap. Hannah says, I'm so glad to have your videos to watch. I'm recovering from jaw surgery and watching your adventures has been wonderful. Oh my gosh, that sounds horrible. I'm so sorry you had to do that. I, um, I had a really bad uh, mouth surgery when I was younger. So every time I hear about somebody getting like surgery here, brings back horrible memories. <laughs> I hope you're healing well and it's not as traumatizing as mine was. Uh, no, not really. Tokyo Lens Club for Okinawa. I don't think he will be there. Unfortunately, he's not friends with the friend that's getting married. There might be some other YouTubers there, though. We will see, but not Norm. <laughs> Christy says, good morning from Florida. I'm so happy seeing your vlogs this year. I hope you have a great trip home. Thank you so much. I can't wait for your apartment tour. Yeah, I'll be doing that soon. I need to clean up the place a little bit. I feel like you guys have seen lots of it. I usually film videos in my bedroom. This is the living room and uh, you've kind of seen me sit at the kitchen table and I guess you saw my like bathroom sink area in my skincare video. So I feel like you've seen everything in pieces, <laughs> but it'll be nice to do a proper tour of it. <laughs> do I like anime? I don't really watch anime anymore. I used to when I was younger. I loved it. My favorites were Bleach and One Piece, and I would watch them like religiously every day. But yeah, recently I'm not so into it. I don't dislike it. I'm just, don't know, don't really have the urge to watch it anymore. Good night. Thank you for watching. Jad, am I saying your name right? Matsuken, your recent videos on Aomori Oidase Hotel and outdoor activities at Oita are my favorite. Could you make some videos like them again someday? I'm so glad you like them. Yeah, I do lots of travel stuff. I tend to travel a lot because I like seeing as much of Japan as I can. So I probably will make some more outdoor videos like that. I hope so anyways. Is the Elon Musk still standing? He's actually folded up in the cupboard at the moment. I had to clean my house a bit. <laughs> He's around though. I've, I've got this one. I've got this one here. I felt like two was a little too much. He was in my living room for a while. Uh, Catherine says, hey Charlotte, I'm visiting Japan on the 6th of January. Do you recommend Skytree? I've already done the shopping, but the actual tower, I've done Tokyo Tower, so I want to do something different. Yeah, Skytree is pretty cool. Um, it's a little higher than Tokyo Tower. You get a better view. I like it. It's nice. If you've done Tokyo Tower already, then yeah, I would say go for it. I don't use Spotify. I'm one of the losers that 
uses Apple Music, unfortunately, so I don't have a wrap up like everyone else. <laughs> uh, so lame. Um, are you going to get the cats at some point or are they going to live with their dad permanently? I will be getting at least Morrow next year. They are currently in the preparation process uh, and we haven't decided if he wants to keep Luna or not. I would like him to because Luna loves him and I would feel really bad taking both the cats, but we still need to discuss it. So, so far Morrow, we will see. <clears throat> Why am I up so late? Anyways, it's only 1130. I felt like I had to kind of do this live stream late because most of my viewers are in North America and it's very early there. So <laughs> I tried to push it back as late as I could. You show pretty much all of your video in the day in Northern Japan, pretty much all of your apartment in the day in Northern Japan video. Did I? I don't think I did. I didn't show very much in that video. <clears throat> I would like to drive the Elon Musk cutout around in my Model 3. I'm so jealous. I wish I had one. I am happy to be back in Morioka. It's nice to not be traveling around. I do love traveling, but I get pretty tired. It's pretty exhausting, probably because I'm filming and editing as well. If I was just traveling, it would be different. Um, what brand of makeup are you wearing? I will be doing a uh, get ready with me video soon. So I'll tell you everything. Is there one product in particular that you're curious about? Ian, did Val have her baby yet? She did. So when I go back to Canada, I will meet the baby for the first time. My best friend Val in Canada had a daughter. For those of you that didn't know, I think she was pregnant last time I filmed with her. Yeah, she's got a baby now. That's weird, eh? Utterly Brilliant asks, Udon or ramen? Udon, I don't like ramen at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Eyeliner and foundation. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Both of them. What are your plans or goals for 2020 if you're comfortable sharing? Oh, geez. My first, um, my first plan, I guess, is getting Morrow over here safely. I'm really just focusing on that. I feel like it's going to be a big pain in the ass with all the paperwork and import stuff I have to do when he comes over and then preparing my house for him. So yeah, once once that's all over, I'll be able to focus on other goals. But right now getting Mauro over here safely and setting up my house so he's comfortable, that's my main goal for 2020. Claire asks, are there any other languages you'd like to learn? Um, I would like to get back into Hungarian. I've been searching for a Hungarian book, like to learn Hungarian, but I can't find any. If anybody else is studying Hungarian and you know of a good study book, please let me know. They're very rare, it seems. I can never find a good one. <clears throat> Will Morrow have to be quarantined while processing paperwork? No. Um, Right now, he's technically in the quarantine process, I suppose. He's gotten all his shots, and uh, now he has to wait six months before he can enter Japan. That's technically the, the quarantine period. So if I were to bring him over to Japan now, they would lock him up in a room or something for six months until that, that time was up. But instead, he's living with his dad, so that doesn't need to happen. I would never... I would never like subject them to that. I don't think they take very good care of pets that they put in quarantine. Dennis, thank you for your content. Do you have a favorite restaurant in Tokyo? Thank you, Dennis. Um, my favorite restaurant in Tokyo. Ooh, I really like Einsof, A-I-N-S-O-P-H. It's a vegan chain. There are four of them, I think now three or four. It's one in Ikebukuro. They do kind of lunch style meals. They have a really good creme brulee, Earl Grey creme brulee. Then there's the one in um, Shinjuku that does junk food and they have the best chicken burgers. Not chicken, obviously, but they're so tasty. They're so good. And their mac and cheese is amazing. And then there's another one in Shinjuku. The staff there is really rude and I don't like them, but the food is good. 
So yeah, Ein Sof, uh, I recommend it if you're vegan, not vegan. Um, the food is just super yummy. I think anyone would love it. Yeah, there's a vegan kombi in Asakusa. I'm thinking to go down there and make a video. Should I do it? I wonder if they'd let me film inside. Even if they don't, I could buy a bunch of stuff and taste it. I hope it's good. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that. I have some high hopes. I hope it goes well and they spread them throughout Tokyo. That would be so awesome. Scott says, any plans on getting a PO box? You guys can send stuff to Tokyo Creative for me if you like. Uh, their address is on their website. I don't want to post about it publicly, really. <laughs> so just you guys that are watching now will know because I got some really weird shit sent to me last year. So <laughs> I kind of want to keep my PO box to just like a small group of people. So I guess the Jesus 1.1 thousand people that are watching right now, you will be the only ones that know that. But yeah, if you go to the Tokyo Creative website and then I think if you go to come about and then company info or something there's an address in there and you can send me mail there if you like make sure you put my name on it because there's other creators in Tokyo Creative like Norm and Chris and other people and the mail will get mixed up if you don't put Charlotte on it <laughs> what weird stuff oh god no I don't want to talk about it it's disgusting <laughs> What will I be doing during the Olympics next year? Probably escaping Japan. I don't think I want to be here. It's going to be so crowded. I'm moving to Victoria from Korea. Oh, no way. You'll like it. It's a really beautiful town. I hope you have a great time there. I wish I got weird stuff. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Mel knows all about it. <laughs> Uh, can you go out eating veganly in Morioka? There are a couple restaurants here that do vegan food. I'm actually going to be showing one that's it's pretty cool. They do uh, oden. Do you guys know oden? It's um, a dish that's usually served at the kombini. It's just sitting by the cash register, and it's like a bunch of vegetables and like fish cake and eggs and sausages and stuff, and they're just kind of brewing in a fish broth. <laughs> Sounds so disgusting. And um, you choose the ones you want and they'll put it together in a little bowl for you. It's really tasty. It's really good in the winter. It only comes out when the weather starts getting cooler. So everybody kind of looks forward to it. Um, but apparently there's a restaurant here in Morioka that will do a vegan broth. So not, not the fish broth. So I'm going to go try it because I love Odin. That's really neat. I've never had a vegan version of it. Hey, Robert. I'm good. I'm doing great. I'm, I'm amazed that there are over 1,000 people watching right now. That's insane. What will I eat for Christmas? Fried chicken? Yeah, um, I'll be in Canada, so I will be eating a tofurkey. That's my family special. We do a tofurkey every year. <clears throat> Best place in Japan you've ever visited. Uh, the Shimanami Kaido was my favorite. I made a video about it, and I think I called it the best place in Japan. <laughs> Watch it if you haven't seen it yet. It's beautiful. Oh, no way. Andre saw me in the Kawasaki Warehouse Arcade. Oh, you should have said hi. I get that a lot. Lots of people message me and say, like, I think I saw you, but I wasn't sure if it was you. <clears throat> if you see a blonde person with a camera, chances are it's me. Hey, Sim. Thanks for watching. What is Christmas in Canada like? It's pretty cool. Um, we have lots of light displays. Wow, really blurry. We have lots of light displays. Uh, most people in the neighborhood will decorate their houses. So it's really cool to drive around the neighborhood and look at the lights. And what else do we do? Lots of the pubs will do kind of Christmas decorations. It'll be really nice to go drink at the pub with your friends. And basically I just spend it at home with my family opening presents and listening to Christmas music. And it's basically just, yeah, family time. That's how we celebrate in Canada. I want me and Tay Tay to vlog too. I wish we could, I miss her a lot. <laughs> what shall I get my cat for Christmas? First Christmas together. You should get her, if you can get Chow Churu online, it's the tube tube food it's like chicken puree they love those so you can get that they're a japanese thing but you might be able to get it on amazon or something 
Mm, hey, Pablo. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching. Any plans to visit other Asian countries? I would like to. I don't have any plans to. No, I would love to visit like Thailand. That would be cool because I love Thai food. <clears throat> Um, my boyfriend and I are visiting northern Japan in March, April. I watch your videos, which helped. Any top places you recommend we absolutely have to visit? Do you know which prefectures you'll be going to? If you are in Iwate, I really think you should go check out the, the beach cliff area in my recent road trip video. Did you see that one? That was so cool. It's really neat climbing through all the caves there. Um... Aomori, that onsen from day one of Vlogmas is really great. If you guys don't mind splurging for one night on a really nice onsen resort, I recommend that one. They speak English, so it's pretty easy to navigate and figure out. That's called the Oidase Keiju Hotel. And Vlogmas day one has the link there. Really recommend that. And also up in Aomori was the, was that, was that in Aomori or was that Hachinohe? Shit, I can't remember. <laughs> the place where me and Norm sat down and had the Sembe Jiru, the like night night food stall market thing. That was so cool. I, mean, I think that was Hachinohe. Anyways, it's up there. It's up there in the same same area. So if you have a car, then yeah. But basically, all the places that I've been in videos recently are like my favorite spots. So maybe rewatch the the northern Japan road trip. Don't go to the the grave of Jesus. That was just stupid. But and everything else is really good. Um, oh, thank you, Nicholas, for PMing me in regards to hung Hungarian. I will check that message later. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can I fly a drone? I have I tried. I think I've tried once. I, I haven't done it like from the start. Like I've never launched one <laughs> or landed one, but Norm and Chris have let me kind of fool around and fly it a bit. I'm kind of scared. They cost so much and I'm so scared that I'll crash it. Um, are you reading any books at the moment that you recommend? Not English ones. I'm currently reading a Japanese one. Where'd it go? Uh, oh, there it is. Oh. I'm currently reading this. It is a horror Mm, no, it's ghost stories. That's what it is. It's true ghost stories, apparently, from people that live uh, in this area of Japan. It's just a collection of scary ghost stories, ghost encounters that they've had. But yeah, it's in Japanese, so I'm not reading anything in English, unfortunately. Um... <laughs> I did not drive that GTR. Jesus, the race car driver <laughs> drove it. <laughs> Would have been a disaster if I was driving. <laughs> Is that another one of Chris's students? I'm going to have to tell him that so many of you came to my live stream. That's hilarious. What did he teach you today? Did he teach you something useful? Hello from Manila. Hey. Yeah, I think most drones have an auto landing function. I think you can just push a button. <laughs> the guy on the cover looks like my friend's kid. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> my God. Oh, thank you, Jenna. We appreciate that. Thanks for watching my videos. <clears throat> yeah, I would love to do a road trip to the ghost story towns. Wouldn't that be cool? I'd have to convince one of my friends to go with me because I can't drive. So yeah, luckily most of my friends drive and they seem to like it. So after I'm done reading it, if any of the stories are like particularly creepy, we could do like a ghost tour of Northern Japan. Wouldn't that be cool? Frog bar, yes, go to the frog bar. It was amazing. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you so much. What's my favorite Christmas movie? Oh. I always watch Charlie Brown Christmas. I don't think that's a movie, is it? I don't know. <laughs> we always have that on in Canada at Christmas time. We always listen to the the soundtrack. That's like our family Christmas soundtrack. That and like Christmas reggae music. 
There isn't an English version of the book, unfortunately. It's just a very niche book about ghost stories in this prefecture up in northern Japan. I don't think they'll make an English version of it. It's too bad because that kind of thing would be really cool. Maybe I can translate it and sell it. Is that, is that legal? I haven't played the new Pokemon. I don't have any time for video games. I'm like holding out for Animal Crossing and then I will probably disappear from YouTube for a while. Uh, and the cyberpunk game, looking forward to that. But yeah, I haven't played Pokemon. I know that I will just get addicted to it and not do my work. So I can't do that. <laughs> am I still playing Pokemon Go? I am not. I had to quit it. I had to delete it off my phone. It was like the saddest day ever, but I got so addicted to it that I was like setting alarms for when Pokemon appeared and then waking up at like 3 a.m. and going outside to catch them. And it was just, it was a bit much. Ghost tour with Norm. Yeah, I'll see if Norm's up for ghosts. That could work. He's so far away though. I don't know if he would want to come all the way up here to Northern Japan again. Montreal is all white right now. Oh, I'm so jealous. Hope you get mild weather when you're back. Vlogmas is great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm so jealous of your white Montreal. Morioka snowed for like four days in a row, I think, but it kind of melted really quickly. Yeah. Um, you think Die Hard is a Christmas movie or not? <laughs> I don't know. What a random question. I'm going to say no. I would not classify it as a Christmas movie. <laughs> Is finding a job as a French teacher hard in Japan? Yeah, it's certainly not common. I don't even know where you would look for a job because they don't teach French in public schools here. So it would have to be like a private school uh, somewhere. And I don't see them very often. They certainly do exist, but as far as if they would have an opening available, that would probably be kind of rare. <laughs> it is a Christmas movie. Oh no. We have an argument about Die Hard in the comments now. <laughs> Typical wet December in Vancouver. I really hope there's some snow when I go back to Victoria. Come on, snow. Uh, visiting Mara or Luna anytime soon, maybe in February, possibly. Not sure yet. <clears throat> Die Hard is my Christmas movie choice. <laughs> What's your favorite season? I like fall. Oh, Cool Runnings is awesome, yeah. Yeah, I like fall because the temperature is just perfect. Um, it's a little chilly so I can wear a jacket and sweaters. I really hate summer clothing, so I get excited when the temperature cools down a bit and I can wear all the clothes that I like. Do you have a favorite book genre or author? Um, I just really like scary stuff. I like reading ghost stories or like alien encounters, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Anything like supernatural. Yeah, that's what I like. Thank you, Naomi. Are you in Japan? It's in Yen. Fall is best, not too warm, not too cold and no allergies. Yes, yes, I forgot about the allergies. I get really bad allergies here in the summer. It's horrible. Hello from Japan. Hello. Thanks for watching. Joker, has it released in Japan? I haven't seen Joker. Yeah, it released here maybe a month or two ago. It was quite a while ago now, but I haven't seen it. There isn't a big movie theater here in Morioka. I think we have a small one, but I don't like watching movies in a small theater, so I don't really go to them very often. Do you think you will visit every prefecture by the end of 2020? Yeah, probably because I've only got one or two left and it's looking like I might go to Okinawa. So yeah, I think I will. <laughs> Yo, Eric, thanks for joining. Do you have a favorite Christmas tradition? Um, probably just listening to reggae Christmas music with my family around the Christmas tree. <laughs> we do that every every year. It's really nice. Oh, no, I didn't, Naomi. I ha actually haven't been to Nalu recently. Oh, did you leave a gift for me? I'm sure they will keep it until 
I'm down there next. I will probably go down there once I'm back from Canada, back from my Christmas trip. So yeah, I'm sure they have it for me. I will mail Yoshi and ask him about it. Thank you so much. That was really sweet of you. Do you know about the Kisaragi station story? I don't. What's that? I've never heard of that. Oh, thank you, Trisha. Oh, hey, Greg. Greg's here. Yay. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. There are so many comments. What's your favorite Christmas present that you've gotten so far? Just like ever? Oh God, I don't know. Um, that's a good question. Oh, my parents got me a, a cat one year. That was pretty cool. Be hard to top that. <laughs> I have to say that goes at the top of my list. Hey, Claudia in Italy. What time is it there? Hello from the Netherlands. Hey, Judith, what did you do in Japan? before you became a full-time YouTube vlogger. I was an English teacher at private English schools for three years. Um, I also did translation for movies and I tutored actors. Um, what else did I do? Just did lots of translation stuff and private English tutoring. And that's about it. And then I went to university. So I was a student for a while as well. <coughs> Paji says, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great time with your family. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you too. Yes, I will definitely go visit Taylor in Hong Kong at some point. I would love to. I've never been there. Yeah, they did put my name on the credit for the movies. It's pretty cool. It was really neat seeing that for the first time. And uh, in Japan, everybody stays in the theater until the credits have all passed. <laughs> so it's like, I know they saw it. Well, I'm sure they didn't, but, but there was some chance that people saw my name and it really stands out because everybody was Japanese and it's like, Sharla <laughs> in English characters. <laughs> Hi, Sharla. I'm Vivek from India. Oh, I had a really good friend named Vivek uh, when I was in high school. Have you been to the Pikachu parade that happens in August? I like when you and Chris do funny videos together. I've been to the Pikachu parade. I don't remember if it was in August or not. It was like the Pikachu celebration that they have in Yokohama. I went one year and it was lots of fun. It was like right when Pokemon Go was super popular and everybody was trying to catch Pokemon. It was like crashing because there were so many people there, but it was really exciting. Yeah, I'd like to go again. Oh my gosh, Charlie, I just wanted to say that I started to watch your videos when I was in middle school and I'm in college now. That is crazy. Thanks for sticking around so long. Oh no, is it so early for you, Pablo? Thanks for joining us, even though it's early on the weekend. I don't know about uh, Kisaragi Station. I'll have to look that up. I haven't heard that one. Yes, I will try Beyond Meat. I will find somewhere that has Beyond Meat. I haven't tried it yet. Do they have it at like fast food places or just at the grocery store? Where can I find it? I'm dying to try it. Uh, yeah, I did tutor the cast of Shin Godzilla. They were great, really nice people. Fave Xmas food. My fave Xmas food is sweet potatoes because I can't get them in Japan. <laughs> They've always been my favorite, but they're like even more my favorite now. I'm really looking forward to them. They have sweet potatoes here, but they're not the same. They're not orange. They're like white and like really sugary and I, I don't like them very much. <laughs> Esna says, please ma'am, say my name. I'm from India. Hi, Esna. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Beyond Meat is here in most grocery stores and a couple fast foods. Cool. Yeah, I will definitely look for it. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to try it. How are your fur babies doing? They're doing great. I get uh, photo updates of them every once in a while. They look very happy and healthy. How's the weather outside? It's crap. It's rainy today. What's the temperature right now in Morioka? Let's see. I just went outside a second ago to throw the garbage away. It's currently two degrees in Morioka right now. Um, and it stopped raining. That's good. 
but it looks like it's sun and rain for the rest of the week. What the hell? It's going to be 12 degrees on Wednesday? That's crazy. It's been like three or four degrees recently. Ever played a horror game? Yeah, I've played that, the picture one. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. The one where you have to take pictures of the ghosts to like capture them. I don't like playing horror games though. I like watching them. I'm too scared to play them by myself. Kristen, morning from Houston, Texas. Good morning. Thanks for joining. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Thank you for sharing Vlogmas with us. Aw, thank you, Kristen. I'm glad you're enjoying them. It's been fun for me, too. It's a good challenge to do it, and uh, I really enjoy talking to you guys every day in the comments. It's kind of neat to see the same people every day. Um, do I plan on getting new fur babies? Definitely not. I just want mine. Any toilets in the treehouse you stayed? A few people asked about this. I was so stupid not to mention it. There wasn't a toilet in the treehouse. Um, you had to like go to another building. There was like a little cabin lodge building close by that had the toilets and showers and stuff. Um, but if you stayed in the other buildings, they had like other cabins and larger rooms, then those ones come with a toilet. But yeah, the treehouse didn't. Aw, oh, thank you, Brittany. Oh my God, how do you do the, how do you do that? dog gif. I didn't know you could do that. What? That's news to me. You guys are better at YouTube than I am. Gojira kantoku ga shiriai no tomodachi demo yaku no hanashi nashi. The Silent with Adam Driver. What's that? I don't know that. Is that a movie? I haven't seen that one. <laughs> I was wondering about the toilets. Yeah, sorry guys. That was important feature that I totally did not mention. Mm -hmm. I have a third degree burn on my ankle. How did that happen, Piper? That sounds horrible. Ankles are so sensitive. That must hurt so much. I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm just waiting till Frank joins the stream. <laughs> Who's Frank? Am I missing something? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Hi from France. Hi. Hi, Lena. Hello from the UK, hello. What do you recommend I do in Japan for a first timer? Oh, go to Nakano Broadway. Definitely go to Nakano Broadway. And um, you'll probably go to Tokyo, most people do. Um, but try and check out some of the nature-y stuff as well. So climb Mount Takao that I mentioned earlier, especially if you're here in the fall, it's so pretty in the fall. Um, what else is good? Akihabara is pretty cool to explore. I like it. Don't go to Shibuya, I'm not a fan of Shibuya seems to be like the go-to place for tourists, but I don't recommend it. Um, what else is nice in Tokyo? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of places that I like to hang out at. I mainly just go to Nakano Broadway. I'm gonna be going to Akihabara soon. Uh, so <laughs> do you think Chris Broad looks like dumpling? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, I'm going to Akihabara soon. So I'll, I'll see what it's like in the winter there. Don't think I've really hung out there during Christmas time. Should be interesting. Shinjuku Gyoen is really nice. Yeah, good suggestion. Was it weird to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius? We use Celsius in Canada, so it's easy for me. I don't know Fahrenheit at all. Hi from the UK, what is your favorite Japanese festival? Ooh, what's my favorite Japanese festival? Hmm. I really like Obon. Obon is cool. I made a video about it a long time ago, but it's like uh, the time of year where the dead come back to life and like visit the living world. It's really neat. There's lots of really cool traditions they do. Um, like they go to the graveyard where their family is buried and then they like direct the ghosts back to the home with a lantern and, uh, and then they lead them back out to the graveyard at the end of the the festival, it's really cool. Yeah, check, um, geez, what did I call the video? It was like years ago now. <laughs> check, check Sharla Obon, O-B-O-N. Maybe you can find the old video, but yeah, it must be like four or five years old now. Can you do a backflip? No, I definitely cannot. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like Day of the Dead. I think it's similar. Is Japan good as a foreign holiday to take a girlfriend? Definitely, it's super fun here. There's lots to do. There's like a whole bunch of different activities. So no matter what she likes, I'm sure there's something that she would really enjoy here. 
Have you ever visited the mascot festival? I've never heard of that. There's a mascot festival. That would be hilarious. Do all the mascots just get together and party? <laughs> oh, hey, Anthony. Oh, sorry, you're having trouble. I don't know why that would be. YouTube sucks sometimes. It's morning here in Canada. Thanks for joining. Thank you. I love my tree too. Isn't it cute? Um, the video is called Obon Japanese Festival of the Dead. Thank you, Andy. Yeah, that's the one. Will you ever do more collabs with Tokidoki Traveler Emma? I hope so. I actually tried to meet up with her last time I was in Tokyo, but she was busy and then she headed off to America. So she's gone for a bit. But yeah, I'm sure we'll we'll meet up again and collab again. Hope so. Prefecture mascots, really? How do I not know that? That sounds fun. Charlotte, would you recommend Morioka or someplace else for someone wanting to visit Japan for a couple months? Are you looking for somewhere that you can just like stay in one spot for a couple months? Because it is a pretty chill city. It would be a good place to like relax. But if you're looking for more like adventure type stuff, maybe a bigger city would be better. There's not too much exciting stuff going on here. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a pretty city, but it's not too many like activities or anything to do right in Morioka. So it really depends what kind of vibe you want. Maybe someplace like Sendai would be a little more exciting. Merry Christmas, Sander. Thanks for watching. Florian says, Charmander, how do you not get lonely living alone? I'm always off doing something. I'm honestly not in my house very often, as you guys have probably noticed in Vlogmas. <laughs> I'm usually down in Tokyo or off traveling somewhere. So I'm very rarely by myself here. And I do have a few friends in Morioka. We hang out a lot. So yeah, I don't feel lonely. And hopefully I will have one or two of my cats here with me next year. So that'll be nice. What's my favorite kombini food drink at the moment? I don't have one. I'm kind of sick of kombini food. I don't really eat it that much. Um, the only thing I buy at the kombini is really like a an energy granola bar type thing that I like called soy joy or a tea, really. That's it. What's better to go to Japan in what season? Fall. Fall is nice. I would recommend fall. Like October? Late late October maybe. I think that's the perfect time. <clears throat> Any new tea recommendations? No, I'm all out of tea. I'm all out of my good teas. I need to stock up. When I go back to Canada, I will definitely buy some because I'm only drinking this one, uh, Yorkshire tea. That's all I've been drinking recently. Favorite Oden, the daikon, the radish. That's the best one. Hi from Tennessee and much love from our eight kitties to you. Oh my God, what kind of cats do you have? Eight, that's insane. The most cats I've ever had at once is four, I think. Yeah. Shiga is the best prefecture. I haven't explored Shiga that much. I don't know much about it. I should definitely go back there. What do you like about it? What's your favorite spot? Yes, Anthony, I want some chai. I love chai tea. I haven't had it in ages. It's not a thing here in Japan. People don't like it. I can't get it at Starbucks though. Starbucks has it. Mm -hmm. Can I send you tea to the Tokyo Creative P.O. Box? You can. That would be lovely. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, tea. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> what was your university experience like in Japan? I've got a couple of videos on it that I made at the time. Uh, it was weird. I went, university in Japan is known as being really hard to get into and really easy once you're in and like it was easy like it felt ridiculously easy <laughs> i decided to take the classes in japanese so that it would be like a little bit of a challenge because my university was a 
uh, what's it called, an international university. So it had English speaking students from all over the world and also Japanese students. So I could choose if I wanted to take the English classes or the Japanese ones. And yeah, the English ones were insane. I started out taking those and it felt like I was in elementary school. <laughs> like we would like read over a page long story and then answer questions about it. And it was just like, how is this university? So that I switched to all Japanese classes and that was hard, obviously, because my Japanese isn't perfect. And then like studying philosophy in Japanese uh, or physics in Japanese is kind of insane, but it gave me the challenge that I wanted. So yeah, it was an interesting experience. Uh, it was really easy to pass. Uh, the as long as you show up to the classes, the teachers pass you basically. Yeah, it's weird. It's very different than Canada where you have to study really hard and do really hard, really eat, uh, well on tests. It's not like that in Japan. You can like suck at your classes, but as long as you showed up every day and looked like you were trying, the teacher will pass you. Thank you, my channel. How are you guys doing gifts? How do you do that? <laughs> oh, Keith has a Maine Coon. That's awesome. Is she huge? My sister always wanted one. My sister got two new cats. When I go back to Canada, I will meet her cats for the first time. She, uh, she, uh, what's the word I want? Adopted uh, two cats that were abandoned at a cat hotel. Somebody like put their cats in a cat hotel to go on a vacation or whatever, and then never came to pick them up. So anyways, my sister adopted them. So now she's got two really cute cats. Can't wait to see them. Hi from Kyoto. Hello. Ooh, hi from St. Catharines, Ontario. Hey, how's your weather? I bet it's cold there. But you have tons of snow too, don't you? <laughs> she is a big girl. Maine Coons are huge. Oh my god, any home remedies for the burn? Oh geez, the only thing I can think of is like aloe vera. What else do you put on burns? I feel like there's not much you can do. I've gotten some really bad burns before. <laughs> the only thing I can remember putting on them was like aloe vera. Aw, that was a cute name for a cat. Meow. Yeah, Shay hasn't been on my channel in years. What should we do together? Should I film a video with her when I'm back in Canada? Aw, thank you, Ak Akitsuki. Am I saying your name right? What a cool name. Ooh, is that a, a tea gif? Hi from Algeria, hello, thanks for watching. How many languages do I speak? Only English and Japanese fluently. Uh, I can understand French if it's written, I can't speak it. And my, oh, Chinese a little bit. And I guess Korean, Korean and Chinese like conversation, like low conversation level. Oh, lavender, I've never heard of putting lavender on a burn, interesting. What are my favorite non-dairy milk brands? <laughs> brands. Um, oh, the oat one. What's the oat one called? Oatly. Oatly is so good. The Oatly like barista one. Wembo says your hair looks lovely. Oh, thanks. It's very staticky because the air is very dry and cold. <laughs> Oh God, Kanamara Matsuri is very famous for foreign travelers, but I am embarrassed. They love it. I've never been. I feel like if I made a video about it now, YouTube would just ban me. They're so picky about stuff that you can and can't upload now. What's the most overrated thing in Japan? Shibuya. I don't know why everyone likes Shibuya. <laughs> I hate it. I try to avoid it at all costs, but the, the Tokyo Creative Office is there, so I end up having to go there quite often, unfortunately. Aw, thank you, Amber. Wishing you a really nice holiday, too. I don't know when I'm seeing Taylor again, but I hope it's soon. Fee Fisha wants luck for her her, her, his exams. Good luck. Which exams do you have? Is it exam season now? It is, isn't it? Good luck to everybody that has exams. Certainly don't miss that. Bye, Robert. Thanks for joining. Your best friend has 45 cats? What? 
how this eyeliner is uh, Charlotte Tilbury. It smudges a lot though. You need you really need to put like a powder over top of it. I had to retouch it before the live stream because it was like all over my face. How long did it take you to speak Japanese pretty fluently? Probably about three years, I would say, until I felt comfortable like having a conversation. <laughs> That's a lot of cats. It certainly is. Hi from Minnesota. Which part of Canada are you from? I'm from Victoria, West Coast. It's an island on the West Coast near Vancouver. Oh, she fosters. Oh man, that's like my dream job. Can that be a job? I really want to foster 45 cats. <laughs> <laughs> Which type of tea do I prefer? Black, green, herbal, etc. I like black tea mostly. I mostly drink black tea because I don't drink coffee. So that's like my, my sole caffeine source. And then I like herbal tea that's not fruits. So like mint or chamomile or lavender, anything that's not a fruit. Does that make sense? Lemon is good though. I like lemon and ginger. <laughs> You're really just like on your vlogs. Very cool. Yeah. My vlogs are just me, basically. Sometimes I have like a weird presenter voice. <laughs> depends. Depends what I'm talking about. Oh, my first live stream. I just dyed part of my hair green. Would you ever dye your hair a holiday holiday themed color? Um, I don't think I would look very good with green hair, red maybe. I used to have um, really blonde hair and then the underneath was like this burgundy red color. It looked pretty cool. That would probably be the closest I would ever want to dye my hair again to a holiday color. <laughs> maybe like a burgundy red. Hey Claire, happy holidays. Oh, you pet sit. I want a pet sit. Is that your full-time job? That's honestly like a dream for me. In the future, I want to buy a house somewhere wherever I end up living <clears throat> and convert like part of it into a cat hotel where people can leave their cats when they travel. Wouldn't that be nice? Because all the cat hotels I've seen are just shit and I want to make a really good one. The cats will be happy to go to and they're not like crammed in a little cage. Vancouver is so expensive nowadays. Guess you haven't lived over here in a while, but how's the difference price of living wise? Oh God, yeah. Every time I go back to Canada, I'm shocked by how much like food costs. It's just going up and up. Here in Japan, it seems really cheap in comparison. I should do it. Would you guys be interested in a video of like cost of living up here in Northern Japan? That could be cool. I feel like people think Japan's really expensive, but it's actually really, really affordable. Bye, Sophie. Thanks for joining. Happy holidays. どうして日本語喋らないの? <laughs> Uh, what am I planning for Christmas? I will be in Canada Christmas Day, so I won't be vlogging it, unfortunately. I'll just be spending the time with my family. Oh, thanks, Sunny. Isn't it cute? Do you have one? Do you guys have one? Concrete or muki dashi de samui. Samukunai o kore nisei mono da yo. Kore kabegami. Fake. <laughs> oh get your tree set up study you should make a really cute one. Oh, if you go to that like uh that shopping area that's like in a station oh i forget the name of it the place that sells all the cool christmas stuff in korea they have like pink christmas trees they're so cute can you do more videos on vegan eating in japan yeah i'm planning to go to that that new vegan kombini and doing a review of what I think of it. It's the first one ever to open in Japan. I can't wait to see it. I hope it's good. <laughs> yes, get a pink one, Sunny. Oh my God. That would be great. 
any type of Christmas food you're looking forward to when you go back to Canada. Honestly, just like the entire Christmas dinner. I love it. I love sweet potatoes and we, we make a tofurkey and uh, cranberry sauce. I love cranberry sauce. And then my mom always makes like an apple pie or a pumpkin pie. It's so good. Morioko wa yuki desu ka? Kyo wa ame. Demo konchi wa zutto yuki datta. Nihongo no ryoku shiken no N2 moteru. N1 yatte nai. Daigaku de benkyo shimashita ichiyo. Koko se no toki mo skoshi benkyo shite. でもほとんどなんか友達から<笑>聞いて、真似して、それでできるようになりました。Bye, Firefly. Thanks for joining. Do more videos where you try gross food. I will try my best. <笑>東北に住んでます。お正月の食べ物で好きな食べ物は何ですかえー、お正月の食べ物日本の I don't really like the, the shogatsu food. I don't really like the shogatsu food. I don't really like the shogatsu food. I don't really like the shogatsu food. Is keto diet hard in Japan? I don't know what the keto diet is. I've never done it. What are the rules? Tell me the rules, and then I can tell you if it would be hard here. Merry Christmas, Luna B. Same to you. Pink hair. Oh, I had pink hair all throughout high school. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm done with the pink hair. I feel like I'm a little little old for it. No or low carbs. Oh, that would be tough here just because if things aren't like paired with rice, they're like usually noodles. There's always like the main thing is carbs. It's like rice or noodles. Um, even if you don't eat that part of it, they're usually deep fried in some kind of like batter. So that would be carbs. Um, yeah, I feel like it would be really hard to eat out here because everything would come with carbs. You would have to just throw that away. And I don't think you'd be full. Low carb, high fat, medium protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that would be tough in Japan. You'd have to do all the cooking for yourself, really. Oh, thank you, Brittany. Happy holidays to you too. Thanks so much for joining the chat. Have an awesome day. Can you do a collab with Dogen? We've been in a video before. He was in um, a video that I made with TC. Is that on the TC channel or mine? I can't remember. I think it's on the TC channel. Yeah, I met him. That was the first time I met him and we filmed a video together down in Beppu. <laughs> そうだよね。ごめんね。There is lots of fish and seafood, yeah, but it's like every time you order a meal, it always comes with rice. <laughs> it's, it's really hard to order something that would just be like protein or fat. Mimi says, I'm a cat lover. What kind of cat do you like? My favorite. Probably like looks wise are Scottish fold and British short hair. I like their chubby little faces. Have you ever thought of going back to school in your area? Hell no. I'm so done with school. I never want to go back. <laughs> I was in university for like 10 years, you guys. It's ridiculous. I couldn't decide what I wanted to major in. So I kept switching my major. And then eventually I graduated all of them. So now I have this like slew of degrees that I'm not using because I ended up doing YouTube. But yeah, I was in university for a very long time and I certainly do not want to go back. Do they have vegan pizza in Japan? No. And on the website, you can choose like no cheese. So I was so excited because the crust is vegan. So I, I designed this pizza with like crust and sauce and veggies and I ordered it, no cheese. And then they phoned me up and they're like, um, we can't do no cheese. 
And I'm like, why do you have that option on your website then? I was really excited. And they're like, if we do it with no cheese, it'll burn. It won't cook properly. And they like refused to make it for me. It was the most infuriating thing ever. So yeah, technically they do have vegan pizza and you technically can order it from the website, but then they won't cook it for you because they're dicks. How do you even pay for 10 years of uni? Um, I did lots of jobs. I worked a lot. <laughs> And I also had lots of scholarships. My dad has a British short hair. He's my baby. Aw. I've actually never met one. I've never met a British short hair in person. I've only seen pictures of them. Any advice for learning a new language? Any tips or tricks? Um, what I usually say is for you to like convert your hobbies into that language. So if you really like playing video games, pick up some video games in the language you're learning and try to play those, even if they're like really, really simple ones for kids. Uh, download some apps. Yeah, just try and like switch the things you do normally into that language. So if you like watching Netflix, watch it in that language with subtitles. Uh, if you like music, try to listen to the music. That's what I did. That's really how I learned Japanese from just like, I loved Japanese movies and Japanese music and watching dramas and stuff. I kind of just like heard it all the time because I switched all my hobbies into that language. That'd probably be my, my biggest tip. And then it's fun, right? It doesn't feel like studying. Oh, congrats, Sarah. I hope you love everything in it. Let me know what you think when you get it and try it. I just did the rice mask yesterday because my skin was feeling really dry with this cold winter weather. You're going to love it. It's so good. <laughs> is my Xmas tree real? No, it uh, is a $3 Christmas tree from the dollar store. It's not real. Pretty decent though, eh? For three bucks. Not bad. <laughs> Do you have summer holiday plans already? No, it's not even winter holiday yet. I have no idea what I'm doing for summer next year. Ooh, I grew up with Siamese. My cats growing up were all mixes. I had never really met a purebred cat until I came to Japan and all the cats were purebred here. Bye, Melissa. Thanks for joining. Good night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Emily, I'm sorry. I don't know much about the Osaka area. I've actually only been there like two or three times. I don't go to Osaka very often. My friend Greg, are you still in the chat, Greg? He's living down in that area. So maybe he will have some recommendations for you for good places to eat. I haven't seen Michaela recently. I miss her. Every time I'm down in her area, I message her, but our uh, schedules never, never match up. So we haven't gotten to meet up, but we chat all the time. Favorite TC video that you've been in? Oh God, um, I haven't been in very many. I feel like <laughs> the Christmas shopping challenge was fun. That was fun. Um, and discussing the weird laws, that was fun too. I wanna make more videos like that. They don't invite me to make videos recently. <laughs> I've been cut. Greetings from North Carolina, hey. Listening no vengo a ustedes, gambate. Ego gambate, comen de ego de. Shibuya ni vegan cheese pizza spot ario. Uso nanti u nanti u tokoro. Ikitai. Bye, George. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you like Vlogmas. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Am I going to be in Japan during the new year? I am not. I'm not going to be, but I am going to order some lucky bags online, so I won't miss them. That's the best part of new year here. I haven't been to Australia. I never have, and I would love to. Got so many cool animals there that I would love to see. Thank you so much for all of your videos. They never fail to make my day. Aw, I've been watching your videos for like seven years now. That's insane. You're insane. Thank you so much. <laughs> Girisha kara konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Girisha ikitai. I love Greek food. Do you tend to forget some English words because you talk Japanese all the time or is it something you don't have a problem with? Yeah, there's there's a couple that I always forget like vending machine. 
Um, what else? There's always a couple that I, I can never remember. I'm surprised I remembered it there. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely forget some English words that I don't use often. Just those ones. Charlotte, should I visit Hokkaido or Okinawa in the summer? Okinawa would be hot as fuck. So unless you really like hot weather, uh, no. Hokkaido is lovely in the summer. It's a lot cooler than the rest of Japan. So... Oh, really? Eki no sugusoko. Okay. Arigato. Ya, tanoshimi ikitai. I haven't had pizza in ages. What vegan meals do you make at home regularly? Um, Buddha bowls. I make lots of Buddha bowls. Pasta. Um, what else? Oatmeal. <laughs> I'm like always eating oatmeal. <laughs> uh, what else do I make? Honestly, that's it. I eat the same things like every day. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Mary asks, will you do a clothing haul soon? Yeah, actually, um, on the 10th day of Vlogmas, I will do a clothing haul of like the sweaters and stuff I've been wearing recently. I've had a horrible time with online shopping recently. I've made like three really big online clothing orders and like 80% of the clothes have sucked, <laughs> but I will gather together the 20% of nice clothes and make a video recommending some nice sweaters and stuff for you guys so hopefully some of you guys are into to a fashion video <laughs> i'm not the most fashionable person but i think i found some some cute pieces that you guys might be interested in which onsen has the best view during spring i have no idea i've never been to an onsen in the spring i tend to only go in the winter it's more of a winter thing yeah i'm not sure sorry What's my favorite thing on toast? Hibiscus jam. That sounds so good. Um, I like peanut butter. Probably peanut butter. Peanut butter and currant jam. Black currant jam. Yeah. So good. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. I'm so glad you enjoy them. <laughs> Humid and hot as fucking Kyushu during summer. Yeah, it's really horrible. It's so bad. Hi, Amberly. <laughs> Aw. Aw, enjoy your honeymoon. I hope you guys love it here. Yeah, I'm going to get some clothing, uh, lucky bags, and fingers crossed that I get chosen for the Pokemon one, which is now a lottery. Hopefully I'm lucky. Well, in Japan, do you think in English and translate to Japanese or think in Japanese and translate to English? Uh, uh, I don't really think about it. <laughs> I just understand it. <laughs> it's hard to explain. I've passed the level of language learning. It's, I don't really have to translate anything. I just read it and understand it. Did I miss the Lucky Bag videos from this year? Yeah, I never posted them. I haven't opened them yet because by the time I got around to it, it was like hot weather and all the clothing in Lucky Bags is winter stuff. So I'm going to open those ones this year. They're still in my closet. They've been there for a year. <laughs> I'm hoping there's some cute sweaters in there because I've been struggling finding cute clothes. All right, guys, I think I better wrap it up soon because it's 1230 and I think my neighbors hate me. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they bang on the ceiling because I'm talking too loud. But I want to thank all of you guys for joining. I can't believe there were like a thousand people watching this live stream. I did not expect that many people to show up. So thank you so much for waking up early, lots of you, or staying up very late. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you missed the beginning of the stream where I opened up the random Christmas present that I got in the mail, go back and watch it. It, it was just amazing. It was like the best way to start the stream. My pleasure, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I will see you again tomorrow for another Vlogmas. Tomorrow is a eyelash perm. Getting getting an eyelash perm tomorrow. So if you're up for that, <laughs> watch that video that's coming out tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day or night, wherever you are. Let me know if you enjoyed this live stream. Should I do them more often? I don't do them very often on this channel. But if you guys enjoyed it, maybe I will start to do them a little more often. Bye for now.